Gemini, welcome back to Egyptian Intuition Tarot. Thank you so much for being here. Please like, comment, and subscribe. If you would like to book a personal, that information is below. If you would like to join members, that information is also on the page. Just log on from the laptop and click join. We're going to say a quick prayer and then we're going to jump into it. So, Holy Spirit, please use me to guide Gemini on what's going on, what to expect, and what to look forward to. Please always keep them feeling safe, loved, and protected. Amen. So I have some channel messages for you guys. Um, I'm doing you today because I did your opposite Sagittarius. So at least up until the day of the eclipse, I'll be doing it like this. Um, so it's just what I was guided to do. First things first, you might want to go check out the Leo reading Mona Lisa is out. I believe it is the very first video on my page, period. So um, you can just go to the oldest video in the filter and it should pop up. But you could be dealing with the Leo or whatever was said in that reading uh, could be significant to you. You could be from Portland, Oregon or traveling there. Also something about the mountains, you could be taking a trip camping or going to the mountains. Some of you, you could be a junior, you could be named after your dad or you could be named after your mom, grandma, something like that. I was hearing the names Chaz and I was hearing the names Chad. That came out in another reading like Chad Michael or something. Also, um, you could tell someone's lying when their voice is shaking, but what I have written here is a shaky voice is telling a lie. So you could be noticing that, um, you know, when you're asking somebody about something, they don't sound as certain and that could be, you know, bringing off some, I'm hearing some pings in your mind. Like I'm seeing, I'm hearing like a text message come through, but it's like, bing, bing but it's like all mental, you know? I was, hearing the <laughs> I was hearing the name Jacob and I was hearing the name Jones or Jacob Jones, that could be your name, Jones Jacob. Also Scorpio and Aquarius energy, you might be partnering up with both of these signs or either or. Also, if you feel guided to get two phones, you might have a business, um, I feel like you should get two phones. Your birthday could be 6-15 or June 15th might be significant. You might want to circle this down. Also, something from 2019, go back to your birthday two years ago or go back to June 15th. Um, actually, three years ago now, right? Yeah, we're in 2022. Oh, God. Yeah, so three years ago <laughs> and see what was significant about then. I was hearing Patrick, which made me think of Patrick Star, which made me think of Aquarius energy. Also, you could enjoy doing pure bar or Pilates as, you know, for working out. I feel like you're running laps around someone. This could be literally like if you're working out with somebody, it's like you're going in circles around somebody or this could be figuratively in some way. You might have been somebody that was very active in your school plays or you still could be. Some of you could have been a thespian. Um, or part of that organization. Some of you could be a real life twin. Something about being on a rooftop, Aquarius energy, you could be on the roof with an Aquarius. Also, you could be a female producer, a female DJ, something that's normally a guy's job. I feel like that came out in another reading. Like it's either a woman taking on a man's role or a man taking on a woman's role. You know, roles are neutral, but you know, just for society's sake. Also, something about a parked car conversation. You could be just talking on the phone with your car parked, or you could be in the car with somebody just having a conversation. Also, if you notice that somebody's always broke or never has money, I hate to say this, but it was coming out in the channel messages, so I just have to say it. I feel like this person has, uh, that's gonna sound pretty bad, but like cursed DNA, or there's something that, could be wrong there's something that's on them like a spirit of poverty a spirit of i'm hearing brokenness i don't know but you could just be noticing like damn like as long as i've known this person they've never really it's like that person that can never really do anything um or maybe somebody just has really bad spending habits or poor money management skills something like that but i just feel like there's something that you're noticing or you could be distancing yourself from someone because of this you know um, I was also hearing that song, Fever. The song's like, you give me fever. Will you kiss me, fever? Will you hold me tight? And I was also seeing a type of situation where somebody gets a fever and then it messes with their cognitive abilities or um, 
their ability to draw conclusions. It's like somebody that has a fever and they're driving and then suddenly they're swerving because they can't see something like that. Or this could be metaphorical. It's like somebody has you just like so hot, so heated that you just can't think of anything else. Go back to your last Gemini reading could be significant. Also, you could be doing doing something brand new next season. So come fall, ooh, it just changed the TV. You could be doing something new. Some of you bank with Chase. I don't know why that's significant. There might be something that goes down with Chase. Also, something about the nickname that your dad calls you by. Your dad has a certain nickname for you. You could be keeping somebody in the dark about something here. Also, you might want to go watch the last Aquarius reading or the second to last Aquarius reading. You're going to get all the clarity you need by Friday. So this might be this upcoming Friday for you. Some of you are getting a new lease on a new coast. I was hearing the Pacific coast. Also, you might see somebody you haven't seen in a long time and you have lots to tell them, but you don't really know where to start. It's like, I have so much to tell you, I don't even know like where to begin. Also, something about um, July, 7th, July 7th could be a warning. Okay, let me backtrack. Something about July 7th or there could be a warning about something coming back from 2017. So you might want to go check what was going on July 7th last year or maybe a couple years ago. Um, some of you could be getting a face tattoo or you could be dealing with somebody that has a face tattoo, if not face like right behind the ear, like right on the neck, like real close to the face. I'm hearing like right on the jawline. <laughs> also, um, there's this mountain in California. It's called like Mount Tom. T-A-M or Mount Tam, you could be visiting that for some of you. Okay, let's get into your reading. It is 8.46 a.m. Today is Monday, May 3rd. Yeah, we'll start here. All right, shuffle for Gemini, what's going on? I'm gonna be using a new deck. I got a couple new decks last week and I'm really excited to use this one. It's my first time using it publicly um but i like it because i'll show you but both sides have a different story of each card so let's see you guys could be avoiding a tower moment sagittarius kind of seemed like they were walking into one you could be causing the tower for sagittarius shuffle for gemini two more Two of Swords. Yeah, some of you, you could be mentally conflicted. It's like you want to keep the peace, Queen of Wands, but it's like you also kind of want to, I'm hearing, say what you need to say. Like you want to say what needs to be said, but you don't want to ruffle feathers. So Queen of Wands, either you could be taking on this fire energy or you could be dealing with a fire sign here, especially if you're a masculine, or you could be dealing with a fire sign friendship, okay? Shuffle for Gemini. Nine of Cups. So this could be about something that makes you happy. Hold on one second. <laughs> one look, that's all it takes. <laughs> They're like, shit. Okay. Um, but yeah, Nine of Cups is kind of a thing where. Um, I've used this scenario before. It's like you want to go to college somewhere. Or maybe you had plans to go to college with somebody, but it's like you get accepted into your dream school. So now you have to change your plans. You could be mentally conflicted about how to bring this up because you know it's going to, like I said, ruffle feathers or cause problems. But it's like also you have to do what's best for you here. But yeah, look, here's that fire sign. It's like you're approaching this queen of wands. Ooh, 20 right here, the truth. 20% battery, but it's like you're approaching her and you're like, hey, so I think I changed my mind about, you know, what we originally said. And this person's like, what? <laughs> and you're like, yeah, I just really gotta, I really kind of gotta do what makes me happy at this point, Queen of Cups. Like, it's just really time for me to be happy, Queen of Swords here. You know, I've given a lot emotionally, I've given a lot to, you know, a lot of cups. It's time to go feel fill mine but for some reason yeah you moving forward or this could be the other person this could be this queen of wands but it doesn't feel like that you moving forward towards what you need towards what you want towards i'm hearing the moon and the stars in your eyes is gonna definitely 
be the polar opposite for somebody that you're dealing with. But like I said, we're born alone, we die alone. You gotta do what you gotta do. The fool here, walk your own path. You might wanna go watch the Sagittarius reading Forrest Gump. That could be significant for you now as well. But yeah, do what you gotta do. Do what's best for you here, Ace of Coins. Especially if it's about a job, Ten of Swords, or it's almost like you downplayed something, like you didn't think you were gonna get accepted, so you made all these other plans, and then you end up getting accepted, or you end up getting some position, and it's like, oh my bad, I didn't really think that <laughs> I was gonna be accepted like that. But Pisces energy, the hangman energy, once you find out or you get this news, things change, and that's what happens in life. Shit happens, things change, moon reverse. So you'll be seeing what this is soon. I'm getting lots of acceptance letter energy. It really feels something like that. Either school, it could be an apartment, or it could be a job for you guys. It could be a relationship or something, like, you know. It's like if you're living with somebody and you're like, oh, I'm gonna move with my mans, or I'm gonna move with my girls. They're like, what? You know, eight of swords in reverse. <laughs> but okay, let's move forward. Yeah, the Wheel of Fortune, the wheel is turning. Also, make sure that you're Queen of Wands. Make sure you're crossing all your T's and dotting all your I's so you don't create any negative karma for yourself in the process. Yeah, you want everything moving forward to be healing as much as it can be, but especially for you. Like, it's time for you to think about you. Three of Swords here. I'm also hearing like self-sabotage energy, self-sacrificial energy. Like I just get for a long time, you've been filling and pouring into other cups that aren't yours. So now it's time to, you know, just walk those paths and make those decisions. Yeah, High Priestess, you know what to do. That came out in another reading. It was a song, Day and Night by Majid Jordan, which always makes me think of Gemini energy because there's two of them. <laughs> I remember like years ago, I thought it was just one person and I was like, but wait, there's more. Okay, shuffle for Gemini. Oh, this could be a thing. Like somebody thinks they're having one kid and then they have another kid. <laughs> the doctor's like, wait, I see another one. I don't really know how that's possible in this day and age with all like the technology and stuff that we have, but you never really know people's positions. So I definitely see a surprise. Like an extra kid is here on track. Some of you, it's like you're finding out you're pregnant, you're going to the doctor here, could be done with Sagittarius, one in four temperance, and then that's when you find out that there's two, but I'm just getting, you thought there was one, but there's actually two. Yeah, okay. Shuffle for Gemini. I'm at Apollo. commitment here two worlds okay gemini what's going on with gemini okay yeah so there's definitely a very important conversation that's happening i feel like this involves your family this is about a brand new cycle something you want to do something you want to start but for whatever reason it's like you have to get the permission of others before you can go towards this or before this can be made a reality for some of you it's like you want to start a business but maybe you need a loan if you're not getting a loan through your bank you could be getting a loan from your parents or i'm hearing something about a trust like access to the trust so i can do this but whatever this is like you can't do it alone you have to go through somebody before you can actually accomplish this also let me see what area code this is um, you could be from minnesota you could be from minnesota yeah gemini <clears throat> Ooh, wish fulfillment though. Um, watch the last cancer reading, but it's like whatever, after you get through the due diligence of whatever this process is, wish fulfillment is here. I feel like this is during Taurus season. Like it was a long road to get here. It was a lot of bumps in the road as well, but everything, I'm hearing everything is everything. The journey begins. I'm also seeing this as like, you maybe you got denied for something a couple times and you finally get approved, you know, but everything just had to be cross off the list. I'm just hearing divine time and temperance energy. Nothing will go forward until it's time for it to go forward. And then it's like everything kind of just comes at once. 
you might have a really big realization or get some really good information during tourist season so be on the lookout for that yeah a letter I, I keep hearing like acceptance letter letter of recommendation like all these different types of letters here but something new is starting Maybe some of you guys have kids that are going to college and you have anxiety for them, like just trying to make sure that they get into the colleges and stuff they want to go to. Shuffle for Gemini. Yeah, the truth is here. The truth is here, the great void. So you're creating a world of substance now. You're creating a life where you feel powerful here. I feel like this is a really big turning point for you as well. Aries energy. I'm also hearing getting my hands dirty. So it's like if you normally avoid conflict, like I'm seeing the two fish go over the trench instead of through it, it's like this time you're going to have to go right through the conflict. It's like you're going to have to go right to the principal or right to the boss and kind of get to the bottom of something. I'm hearing putting on your big girl panties. I really don't like the word panties for some reason. <laughs> Show them for Gemini. But yeah, wow something it's like through something that you have to do you grow up in an instant whatever this is like you ascend in an instant this could be through a tower moment here something about your creativity yeah like i said alchemy temperance is here as well with the chariot so 777 and the high priestess it's like do the thing that you're most afraid to do and you're gonna get the biggest reward that you've ever received here leo energy it's like also completely transmuting something so something that was really bad you do something you take action towards it and then you make it really good you know but you're gonna be i'm hearing free falling or like i don't know something this summer <laughs> creative child spark but i'm mostly hearing freedom I'm hearing let freedom ring yeah gemini energy confusion clarify confusion for gemini what is gemini confused about Oh, yeah. Oh, I just got a YouTube notification. So wherever that confusion is, remember I said watch that Aquarius reading where it's like by Friday, you're going to receive all the clarity that you need. So you got Gemini energy confusion with Aquarius energy clarity. Either you're going to find the clarity that you need in that video or this Friday, you're going to have all the clarity that you need in order to move forward with something. It's either or. Yeah. Ace of illumination and harmonious home made in a beauty here. So, whew. Things feel a lot lighter for you than they did for Sagittarius. Um, there is energy of a pregnancy here, conflict about a pregnancy. This could also be a thing where it's like you're with somebody, you thought you wanted to like have their kids or something and then you see a different side of them and then you're like, no, I don't know if I want you to have my kids. <laughs> something like that or something just completely changes your perception. Shuffle for Gemini. I was hearing that song that's like, I ain't scared of no ghosts. I think it's like the Ghostbusters song. Yeah, Temperance here again. Heavy, heavy Sag. I would go watch their reading if I were you too. I just want to see what that is really quick. I just keep hearing it over and over. I ain't scared of no ghosts. <laughs> oh, wow. Okay, so the song is... Ghostbusters by Ray Parker Jr. Didn't we say that you could be a junior? Yeah, that's in there. So Ray Parker, the initials RP, RPJ could be significant to you guys. Um, there's a video called I Ain't Afraid of No Ghosts by Outline in Color. The album is called Jury of Wolves. So a jury, like judgment, could be significant. Released in 2012. It's a metal song. There's also something from the day before Valentine's Day. It could have been significant. I just want to read off a couple of these lyrics. I don't think these are the lyrics from Ghostbuster, but it popped up. It says, I cannot pretend like I'm happy in ignorance, like this is bliss, and I can't be content with all these questions because no one can ever answer them. I've had enough tongues and whispers, funeral song. I've been waiting on the world to sink. I've been waiting on the world to sink. 
there's only disappointment outside of these walls so don't go sneaking okay I watched you break a promise. I watched you live a life of sacrifice. You've become such way. Oh my goodness. Okay, yeah, this isn't good. So remember how I just said, like you could have wanted somebody to be the father and mother of your kids, but then it's like you see another side of them. This is kind of that. It's like if you've been pretending, you know how they say ignorance is bliss. Maybe there's something you didn't realize, but it's like once you see something, you can't unsee it. I'm hearing immediately no, immediately no. I love when that comes out. But yeah, yeah. Someone, maybe, I see a big truck outside. Maybe it's like whatever we were talking about in the beginning. The truck is backing up. It's doing that little beep, beep, beep. So maybe like needing to like back up and go back towards something it's nine on the dot right now this could be at work but there was something from the beginning i was going to tie in there and i lost it by paying attention to this check if it comes back i'll let you know okay shuffle for gemini but yeah pretty much it's like if you can't ignore something if you can't ignore someone's actions or your situations the only thing that you can do is move forward that's what i was going to say about the beginning how we were talking about you going towards something that fulfills your own happiness that makes you happy it's like you can't really pretend that i'm hearing this is enough for you or you can't really pretend that you're happy where you are when there's so much more it's like whatever the ignorance was whatever the bliss was it's gone now so you have to move accordingly yeah Yep, Eight of Pentacles. Some of you guys could be working a lot, working really hard, so you can just kind of do what you want. Some of you kind of feel like somebody's immature, or it's like when somebody drinks, they become a different person here. Ace of Pentagrams, yeah. You could be realizing through someone's actions, like someone's not really responsible with money, so you're working harder just to make sure if anything goes wrong, like Ace of Pentagrams, you can take care of it. It's not that you necessarily want to be in that position or you want to have to do that, but I'm hearing desperate times call for desperate measures, the world here. So yeah, a cycle's coming to a close for you guys, the chariot in reverse. You're, I'm hearing renege. You're taking your investments out of the situation so you can go do something else. 100%, 100%. Yeah. I'm hearing that's a hard no. <laughs> it could be a contract somebody wanted you to be a part of. Like, nah. Maybe you heard the backstory of like what really goes on, you know. I'm hearing like with this company or in this building and you're like, yeah, nah, I'll pass. Yup. Six of Swords. In reverse and the moon something's gonna come out something's gonna be revealed to you and like when that comes out also the sun in reverse here on top of the king of pentagrams here so if something's being revealed about a taurus virgo capricorn man or like your boss or something like that that's gonna be what allows you to make the decision then i see this king of swords here so there could be a gemini libra aquarius putting you on to this information about somebody and helps you make a decision but whatever it is you're going to get the information that you need right at the perfect time this is a warning seven seven expect for your mind to change in a big way very soon it's like something you were so sure about all of a sudden you're like nah <laughs> nope not me i ain't scared of no ghosts what is that Oh, I'm hearing Duppy, Gemini, oh. You might be ghosting someone. Like, I'm not scared to ghost them. I ain't scared of no ghosts. Like, you'll be the ghost? I don't know, I don't know, but we'll see. <laughs> I'm hearing Duppy, yeah. Yeah. Let's move forward. I'm kind of excited to use this new deck. <sighs> Shuffle for Gemini. I feel like I want to title this, I ain't scared of no ghosts, but nobody's going to understand. <laughs> Because I really understand what that means. Maybe you guys have been watching Ghostbusters or you could be experiencing a lot of supernatural activity. Honestly, it was a Gemini reading where I had one of my first like supernatural experiences on camera. I don't know if any of you guys remember, but there were these like two dormant ice cubes 
on the tray and I pulled this sacred crow woman and both of these ice cubes flew off the tray one by one like you could see in the video you see me seeing them fly and I just could not even respond I couldn't react I couldn't say anything I was just like let's continue so yeah you guys could be experiencing a lot of um, paranormal supernatural activity or whatever but I feel like you're very comfortable with it if you are I ain't scared of no ghosts that could be where that energy is coming from so Gemini there is um, a Scorpio Cancer Pisces coming towards you, possibly with a love offer, wanting to check your temperature on how maybe you feel about something. Ooh. Yeah, it's like somebody wants to know your opinion. What do you think, you know? Maybe somebody's had you on their mind for a while and they just want to see Nine of Cups. Like, is it mutual? Is it the same here? Seven of Cups and the Nine of Cups. Oh, uh, I guess somebody's like daydreaming about you. Yeah. <laughs> somebody's been daydreaming about you a lot. Hmm. This could be somebody you know from the past here, but Eight of Wands, they might be coming towards you. Somebody might feel bad about something. Yeah, Four of Swords with the Four of Cups in reverse, and they might be coming towards you Eight to apologize or, you know, just to see, check your temperature, see how you feel about things currently I'm also hearing like if you feel like things are um fixable or uh i'm hearing mendable like mended seeing somebody stitch something together i'm seeing like clothes rip and the seamstress try to like put it back together like no it's okay it's fine <laughs> you can barely tell anything ever happened i feel like that's kind of what's going on with your like real life situation but yeah, judgment here. So Gemini energy, somebody could have been a, um, exposed for something here. If you were with somebody in the past, I'm seeing 26, this might go down on the 26, but it's like you had some type of agreement here, but I feel like something was exposed. You see how everybody's ass is out or maybe somebody showed their ass. Oh, it's 26 minutes now too. So this could also be a situation where it's like somebody gets too drunk at a function and they embarrass you in front of the family and then it's like they want to know like, hey, like, can you forgive me? Can I make this up? Can I apologize? If you guys are in family dynamics like that, this could be a thing here. But yeah, somebody did something to you. They're facing judgment for it. And I feel like there's going to be some type of apology, some type of reconciliation, if you deem it necessary or worthy. You know, it's all up to you. There's a lot of different things going on here. Some of you guys are about to get a promotion at work. Yeah, Ace of Swords or something that you're doing, a self-starter here, Six of Pentacles, something that you're investing in. It's going to bring forth a lot of money, bring a new cycle in. Ace of Swords, Ace of Pentacles here in the world. Brand, brand new cycle. I see, honestly, whatever this energy that's coming back in, you might completely be done for it because you just have so much, yeah, tower here. You have so much newness coming in that to bring something that I'm hearing you freshly decided doesn't need to come would be a disservice to you. So, yeah. You have free will, though. That's the beauty of life. You get to decide what you want to do. So whatever course you take, <laughs> Ten of Swords will depict how things go, you know? I'm hearing take the path where you kind of know what's going on. Don't take the... I'm hearing ambiguous. Or where things aren't really planned. Things are just kind of scattered. You don't really know what's happening. Happening. Shuffle for Gemini. Oh yeah, Wheel of Fortune is here. Then. Destiny is here. Gemini. Queen of Pentacles. Ooh, King of Pentacles. You could be starting a business with your counterpart. Or you could be working under this couple or something like that. You could be learning from this couple. But I really feel like this is the energy that you're taking on. Or it's like if you're getting together with a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, male or female, then it's like by nature you become their counterpart and you would resemble, you know, the opposite. So that could be what that is. You might be with a business owner or like, I don't know, but the hermit here and the lovers in reverse. 
clarify lovers in reverse. Yeah, you're showing up as the kin the <laughs> the pinnacles, the pinnacles person because it's like you're putting love on a back burner right now, and you're in hermit mode working here. Now it's like you attracted this counterpart, King of Pinnacles, Queen of Pinnacles, with this Ace of Pinnacles and the Star. Lots of healing. This is exactly what you needed, exactly what you wanted. So if some of you have the opportunity, or somebody comes through that's a Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, or they just know a lot about finances, they have a lot. Um, I'm hearing of resources as well. You might want to take heed to what they're trying to teach you or what they're trying to say to you because I, ha I feel like this person has nothing but beneficial and very useful advice to give you. So if anything, Ace of Cups here and the Three of Wands, you could learn a lot just by being in the same vicinity, the same room as this person. I'm just hearing like, don't take anything for granted. I also want to see what, yeah, Ace of Wands, a new beginning is coming out of something though. I want to see what this area code is. New York City, oh my god, I'm hearing Empire State of Mind. But yeah, New York City just came out in all caps. So some of you, you could be going to the Big Apple, you could be going to New York. You might want to go watch the last Cancer reading. There's an apple in their title. Ooh, some of you guys might work with music. Music, because I'm hearing like title, that's a that's music. <laughs> that's a that's that's a music and i'm also hearing jay-z and beyonce right because jay-z isn't he a sag beyonce is a virgo in the sagittarius the sagittarius reading we were saying that they were working really good with the virgo energy and then for you guys it's like you're working well with an earth energy which could be taurus virgo capricorn so we're in taurus season it could be a virgo during the season it could be you know it could be anything just put it how it fits I'm gonna sneeze. Your best bet is to go into hermit mode to figure out what's important to you though. King of Cups here on the bottom of the deck. Like making, I'm also hearing, I'm hearing making a list, checking it twice. So you need to like write down a list of your non-negotiables or like write down a list of exactly what you want. I'm hearing pros and cons. Just get very specific about what it is that you wanna manifest in order to see that come through, you know? It's like if you're trying to, I don't really like to say this because I don't really feel like you need to attract a husband, all that stuff, that's the type of stuff that'll come to you naturally. But just for conversation's sake, say you're trying to attract a husband, you don't want to be like, oh, God or spirit, I just need like a tall, dark and handsome man. <laughs> no details, no nothing, you know, like I wouldn't do that. You might want to be a little bit more specific, like I want a tall, dark and handsome man who values this, values his mother, his family, like, you know, respects me, this, this and that, like just A to Z, what are non-negotiables, what do you need? I don't know, putting a list together, you might see some improvements with your manifestations by doing that, just getting specific, yeah, Empress here, watching things come to you after you get clear with the universe about what it is that you need and you want, okay? I'm hearing you set the standard, you have the highest perspective over your life. She has this little eagle here on her purse or her bag or her shield, whatever, but just maintain that highest perspe perspective at all times, the magician, especially when it comes to manifesting, like don't sell yourself short. Um, but yeah, the interest came out and the eight of wands, you're moving forward, you're releasing baggage, 10 of wands in reverse, ace of wands, new beginning, five of wands here, leaving all the conflict and chaos behind. So I really feel like that's all I have for you. You could have been dealing with a very immature fire sign with this knave of wands here, but I feel like that's all over. Actually, the knave of wands and the knave of swords, it's like you couldn't trust what or who this was, but while you're moving forward towards... I'm hearing, I'm hearing the JC Pennies, um, like song, like when they're like it's all inside. Maybe hold on, it's like internally you already know what you're supposed to be doing. It's just like the outside, your mind. I'm hearing the cerebral has to catch up with the rest of you. But all right, Gemini, pretty good reading, pretty good um, reading. Ace of Cups here, so. Just get excited. Your birthday season's about to be, I'm hearing one to remember, King of Wands here. So, yeah. Just 
be on the lookout. But God bless. Thanks for being here. I'll see you guys next time. Judgment Day. <laughs> oh, go watch your reading. You guys have a reading called Judgment Day or Judgment Week. <laughs>